the last class we learned how to model this table and in this class we model this office desk size of this office desk is 3 by 6 and height is 30 inches now i reset this file first i create base of office desk so i choose box tool and create a box in the center of this grid go to modify section and change the length width and height height should be 1 inches and length 3 feet I type 3 with the single tick same as width 6 feet now I place this box in the center of this grid so I right click on the x y z axis and move 3 inches upside from the ground level so I type 3 in the z axis now I create legs for this table so I switch to top viewport I create leg by slender tool by pressing F key you can switch to front viewport and change the height segment and radius radius is 1 inch I increase up to 2 inches move little bit inside now I create 3 more copy by pressing shift and drag select both and click and drag ok so lag is created now I place all these lag in a group so I click on the group and create a group now I create a duplicate copy of this space and move in the upside 30 inches so top will be created so press ctrl v for create a copy and then move upside 30 inches so first click on the absolute mode button and then type 30 inches so it will move in the upside now I create side from the top viewport so I switch to top viewport by pressing T and then choose a box you can create by snapping or you can align after creating so first I create then switch to perspective viewport and change the dimension width is 1 inch or 0.75 is perfect value width 6 feet and height 30 inches now I align this back support with the center of this base so press alt a and then click on the base and choose x position center to center now I switch to front viewport and move upside now I snap this point to this point by snapping tool so click on this and make sure vertex checkbox is selected then click and hold on this point then move so it will snap it's perfectly placed now I create side support so I switch to top viewport again now I create a duplicate copy of this back support then change the dimension and place here so by pressing shift and drag create a duplicate copy then rotate by using angle snapping tool and make sure 45 or 90 degree value is placed here then switch to rotate tool and then rotate 90 degree now I change dimension so I change width 3 feet and then place in the center by using align tool or you can also use snapping tool now I create a duplicate copy and then place in the other side now I switch to perspective viewport and it's look nice 
now I create two more copy for creating rack same as a another copy then make a group so it's a easy way to place in the center now I create a partition here so I choose box tool again and create a partition and size should be 0.75 inches in the height or 0.5 is also good value and then place in the center or little bit upside and create a duplicate copy for other side and place by using eyeball ok basic structure is created now I create door and rack first I create channel by using line tool so I switch to top viewport and then create a line here now I apply a modifier on this and modifier name is sweep modifier first I move this upside and go to modify section and apply sweep modifier and choose channel in the shapes and change the parameter of this channel so important parameter is length width and corner radius so first I change length I switch to front viewport and first I mirror this by clicking on this mirror tool I mirror this in the X axis then change width corner radius and then place here ok I think size is little bit big so I reduce now I create a duplicate copy and then mirror this and change the dimension so I decrease little bit so it will fix inside this ok now I select both channels and then create a duplicate copy and mirror this ok so I place in the side now I create a box from the top viewport and change the dimension of this box by editable poly tool so I click on the box and then convert into editable poly vertex selection and move these vertex same as from bottom side and upper side this part is perfectly created I show you in the perspective viewport now I switch to edge selection and convert this into rack so first I create two connection I take two connection and then place in the side same as I select side edges and create two connection for this area
now I switch to polygon selection and select this polygon by pressing control key and then X2 right click and click on the extrude setting box right click to set the zero value in the extrude and then click and drag i think we should extrude at this level so click and drag okay then apply now i select all these parts and move outside so i switch to top viewport now I select all object with the window selection then press alt key and then reselect so selected object will deselect same as I deselect these object now I move outside now I create front panel for this rack so I create a box then convert into editable poly now select these vertex and move little bit down so a gap is created now i place here now i select this channel outside channel and move inside okay now select remaining object and create a group uh, i think we have to create a knob here so i switch to side viewport and create a knob by lath modifier so first I create a path and then modify this so first I select this point and right click choose corner if you want to apply fillet on this corner so vertex is already selected fillet tool ok so fillet is created same as I select and move outside little bit ok then change the axis I think we have to change the point position then click on the modify list and find lath modifier modifier is applied I think there is some problem in the axis so change the axis and flip ok now I properly place here so alt a for align tool ok Now I select all the object and create a group. Rack is created. Now I create a door for this area. So I switch to front viewport. Now I switch to perspective viewport and first change the position and change the parameter. Now I convert this into editable poly so we can easily modify the edges. Select these vertex and I modify from the front viewport 
I think we have to increase this panel. So I select this and convert into editable poly. Move outside. Okay, same as you can also select and move outside this. Now I select this door. Okay, so it's perfectly positioned now. Same as I modify the bottom points. Okay, so door is perfectly created. Now I change the pivot position. So I go to hierarchy and change the pivot position by using top viewport. By using rotation tool, you can easily open this. Now I create a duplicate copy of this rack and this door and place here so I switch to top viewport and select all these objects now I press alt key and then reselect ok then create a duplicate copy by pressing alt and drag and then properly place I think these partitions also copied so first I delete these and then make a group and align to center ok so rack is created now I select all the element of this and apply a shader you can also apply a texture so it will look like this 